Let's let's go real quick, real quick. Since this conversation about the Ravens, yeah, and that they're playing really well, and it's really great. And Lamar Jackson might be the best Lamar Jackson that we have seen, and that's scary to think. Yeah, but now there's still a debate now. And look, I know there's some great teams. The Lions got a huge victory. They are probably, arguably, the best team in the NFL right now. Yeah, they are taking care of business, whether it's at home, on the road. They beat the piss out of the Packers in in a in really like a monsoon of a game, right? Yeah, where they just found a way to go out there and they get another win against that's the best division in football right now they win on the road in minnesota well look they win on the road in green bay i was gonna say green bay leads the league in turnovers and they they torched them crazy yeah and also then in this case they are now right now on the mm-hmm. the the front lines of being the top seed in the nfc a lot of football left but because they're so far up there it has some people thinking that the quarterback for the team, Jared Goff, should deserve more MVP consideration, which I agree with, but I don't agree with that he is the actual MVP. And Stephen A. Smith, well, he thinks that the season were to end today, that it's a no cl- no debate that Jared Goff actually deserves it more than Lamar Jackson. So take a listen. Seven and one lines off to their best eight game start since 1956. That's number one. Number two, do you know that they're 27 and eight in the regular season, dating back to the halfway point of the 2022 season? They were one and they, what, what, Stephen A., what were they at that 20? They were like one and six, one and I think seven, like halfway one and through? Six, about, about one and six, and they yeah. are 27 and eight since that time. Here's my favorite stat to throw at you, Dan, because you brought up Jared Goff with Amon Ross St. Brown, all right? During a Lions six game winning streak that they're on. Golf has the highest completion percentage at 82.8% and passer rating at 140.1 for any quarterback in any six-game span in NFL history. History. That's what we're talking about. So I don't want to hear anybody argue with me when I say that Jared Goff is the MVP. I don't want to hear that right now. This is not the week. Now, you can come, <laughs> Shannon. You can come, Dan, Dio. You can come to me a few weeks from now. I don't want to hear it today. I don't want to hear it today. Not when we see what this man has been doing over these last six weeks. If the MVP were today, Jared Goff has to get MVP. Oh, by the way, they got dual running backs in Montgomery and Gibbs, you know, chalking up, chucking up yards. And oh, by the way, the Packers outgained them by 150 yards yesterday, 411 to 261. And they still lost by double digits. Okay. So I want to just say with this, I love Jared Goff. I love the Detroit Lions and what they're doing. I I think that Jared Goff right now is playing the best football for the quarterbacks in the NFC. In the Mm -hmm. NFC, I love what he's doing. He has been great. And this is not me being a homer, but how, how, what has Lamar Jackson done that would make you think that it wouldn't be Lamar Jackson at this point in time? I, if we're looking at statistics, what he's done for comebacks in situations and the big moments. And again, yesterday was another perfect display where you're talking about efficiency. No one was more efficient than Lamar Jackson. Some would say it was perfect because he was perfect Mm -hmm. in a passer rating sense. He was. Yeah. Uh, there's so many things wrong with what what Stephen A. said. Yeah. Uh, that I just I, I don't even know where to begin. So I'll just start with this. Lamar Jackson had a perfect passer rating yesterday for the fourth time as a career. No one else has done that other than Ben Roethlisberger, and I'm talking about Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, all the greats that we've seen before him. No one else has done that other than Ben Roethlisberger, and Lamar Jackson is 27 years old. He's on pace to, to to crush any records as far as a perfect passer rating. Something that people said that he couldn't do was throw the ball. The other thing that, that Stephen A. Smith has not taken into account was his rushing ability. Yeah. Look, Jared Goff is not running the ball. Sitting back in the pocket and throwing the ball. If you're an MVP, you're, you, you should be indefensible. Jared Goff can be defended on, and let's, Jared Goff also doesn't have the big play ability. Well, I don't want to say ability, but he just hasn't had those big plays that Lamar has had when it comes to 20-plus uh, yards downfield. A lot of the throws that he's made have been pretty short passes. You look at Lamar Jackson's uh, uh, passing yards, it's 20, 20, 2,099 yards. 
Uh, he's up to 20 touchdowns, two interceptions, and both mm-hmm. of those were not his fault. Uh, 67 uh, percent completion pad uh, completion percentage. Then then comes the rushing. 81 r- rushes for 501 yards. He's averaging 6.2 yards a carry. There, there's just no, and he's got two rushing touchdowns as well. There's just nobody that's doing what Lamar Jackson is doing. He's playing better this year than he did last year, and he won the MVP then. So there's nothing to me that is going to convince me otherwise that Lamar Jackson should not be the MVP even going into week nine. So yeah. and one thing I wanted to point with that, by the mm-hmm. way, Zach, mm-hmm. the Detroit Lions, he mentioned that the Packers, they won by double digits. Where the game changed was Jared Goff didn't make a mistake. Right. Jordan Love threw a very, very costly pick six right before the half. Yeah. And that was a monumental moment in the game. But again, I digress. Zach, I just think I would even in this case, and this is no knock to Jared Goff. I would even put still what Josh Allen does above Jared Goff. And I yeah. love Jared, but I still think Lamar Jackson is the guy right now. If we're saying at the end of week nine. Yeah. And the, the thing is the Lions. if you want to talk about the best teams, I think the Lions, without a doubt right now are playing some of, if not the best football in the national football yeah. league. But does that mean Jared Goff is the MVP? No, it doesn't. Jared Goff, last this past Sunday, yesterday, 18 of 22 for 145 yards and one touchdown. Okay. You're thinking, okay, only threw the ball 22 times. Lamar Jackson, we saw go 16 for 19 for 280 and three touchdowns. The week before against a bad Tennessee team, Jared Goff was 12 for 15. For 85 yards, the man didn't even hit triple digits. Did he have to? No, but that doesn't make you the MVP. It it, it doesn't make you the MVP. I'm going to pull this up real quick. I'm going to share my screen. Um, If you want to compare the two for for this year, Lamar Jackson, Jared Goff, uh, games played, Lamar has the one extra. Quarterback record goes to Jared Goff. Completion percentage goes to Goff. Every other statistic goes in favor of Lamar Jackson. So it, it just, it's hard for me. By to a lot here. too. Yes. So it's hard for me to sit here. And I understand if we're talking about the full team, he's got Jared 500 Goff, more passing. Yards. What Jared Goff is doing for Detroit is exactly what Detroit needs. He's leading them to where they need to go. He's doing everything he needs to do, but that doesn't make him the MVP. He's, he's the most valuable game manager, right? Yeah. Now. That's he's what literally Brock Purdy was last year. Yeah. I, I will say with this case, by the way, Jared Goff's had some stones, and and Kev, he has made big plays. The Vikings, when they needed him, drove down the field. He's done well against the Blitz. Jared Goff has done everything he wanted to do. And this Again, if the Lions continue to win and say Baltimore doesn't win games, Lamar and Josh Allen will be in that same conversation of, well, they'll put up video game numbers, but then the team will elevate, and therefore I think Jared Goff will have a realistic shot to win the MVP, right? But – Right now, if we're at the point of this, it's just, to me, what Lamar and Josh are doing for those cases. And also, if we're looking at teams, Detroit's defense has been the best of the three teams. I was just about about to say that. And we were talking about uh, the, the record since Jared Goff came in. I'll say this, too. And this isn't to take anything away from Jared Goff. But the Lions, the team have bought into Campbell's persona. Like they, the team, he, he bleeds, the team bleeds his, his personality. I, I, I'm giving more credit to Dan Campbell than I am to Jared Goff for the, for the turnaround and, and the record that they've had uh, since he came into the organization. Yeah, they didn't start off great, but then he brought in personnel. Uh, I just, I'm not saying that Jared Goff isn't bad. I'm just saying he's not the MVP. And I, I, I think that, it just doesn't make any sense to me how you can even make anywhere close to the argument. And that, to your point too, like I think Josh Allen would be the the the, the closer comparison. Joe Burrow, Je- right? So that well, and the thing this is the other part though. It's last year Lamar and the, the the time where he was the front runner. His numbers might have not been up there yet, but the Ravens were winning. Yeah, Jared Goff. There is something to be said if you win games. And for me, Jared Goff is in a position where they are winning games for their team consistently. The defense is winning. But but, but this is the thing. I, that's the one thing I'll say. Yeah, they have the best defense, but Jared Goff does not turn the ball over. Right. He has come up in big moments, and he deserves to be in that conversation. He is a, in my opinion right now, 
you're going to look at top six quarterback because of their system and the players that they have, I'd put them in the top six quarterbacks. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. completely fine. But if you're talking about an MVP at the situation right now, I'd take Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, and then I would take Jared Goff because of the fact that his team is the best in the NFC right now. I like that. I like the comparison that you made, Zach. This definitely feels like the same kind of arguments that I was making as to why Brock Purdy didn't deserve an MVP uh, bid yeah, last year. I think Jared Goff is doing his perfect job at managing this team. And like you said, Ryan, he's not making mistakes. Yeah. He's making sure that the team get the ball to Jameer Gibbs, get the ball to David Montgomery, get the ball to Amon Rock. Florida. Yeah, it, that's his job is making sure. So that's why he can have games where they blow out the other team and he only threw for 85 yards, three touchdowns, all within seven yards, including a three yard pass and a one yard pass. It's, you know, it's not like he, he doesn't need to go out there and make the 50 yard bombs every single game. It's what it's working for him. So I, I would just, again, I think the team component of winning games, regardless of if your defense is good or not, that should put you in the conversation, no matter what, that's why Brock Purdy was in the conversation and it was not yeah. fair to him to say he didn't deserve it as well. They had a great defense. They had great skill position players, but he had to be the one to facilitate. He did a great job. Jared Goff is probably in a similar situation there, but what's Jared Goff doing? He's playing arguably the best ball of his career with what he has, and he's saying, hey, if I need to throw for 85 yards today and we win, great. I need to lead a game-winning drive on the road against Minnesota, great. I'll do it, Kevin. I think that's the point that we're just trying to make here for yeah. Jared Goff. He is never going to have the flashy numbers that Lamar and, and Josh Allen would have, but he deserves MB, MVP consideration. I think that that is a fair assessment for where Detroit is. And the reason why Joe Burrow isn't getting the consideration yep. is because that they are four and five. I agree. I agree. And, they're, and, they're, and even though Joe's numbers are ridiculous, the team not winning is a big part of the MVP award, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, if, if the Bengals were six and three like the Ravens, it would be a two two guy race between Lamar and Joe Burrow. Yeah. I mean, that would be the conversation we'd be having. So they, they need a war type of stat for football. And if they did, Lamar Jackson his war would be absolutely insane. Yeah. That's all that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. No, I, I agree. But you know, you're talking about, you know, the Lions are seven and one. You know, they have one loss and the quarterback, you know, while I think to me, Lamar is the MVP front runner. You look at the record, and since the Lions are seven to one and the Ravens are six and three, that's where the argument comes from. But I don't think the drop off between seven and one and six and three is enough to put Jared Goff over Lamar based off of what we've seen. With Joe Burrow, it's real because four and five is like, yeah, you're you're losing games and like you're not going to be involved in that conversation. But the only way that I can see people putting Jared Goff over Lamar is because of the record. But you know, a mm -hmm. difference of one win, two losses is not going to move me to put the guy who doesn't have the numbers over the guy that does. And, you know, Zach read out some of those stats. If Lamar had, what was it, 140, yeah, 140 passing yards, five. he would be ran into the ground yeah. he had a by game the where media he had 85 the next passing day. Yards. Yeah, and I think, was he, did he get injured in that? I think he got injured in that game. And he had to, like, play hobbled. But regardless, like, if Lamar had that type of stat line, yeah. we've seen what happens where he gets oh, just yeah. buried. And we don't see that same energy. For and here, here's another yeah. thing to go with Joe Burrow, by the way. Joe Burrow has 20 touchdown passes to four interceptions this year. He's got a quarter QBR that's just a point below Lamar's as far as QBR rating. But the fact of the matter is they lost a heartbreaker. And yes, the defense wasn't as good, but they lost a heartbreaker to the commanders. They lost at home to the Eagles. Yes, they didn't have T Higgins. But again, whether people like it or not, if the team plays well, the quarterback's going to get success with it. Joe Burrow, number-wise has been phenomenal. Jared Goff, the team is winning. His numbers are very good, but he's excelled higher because the Lions are at a place that they've never been before, which again, all for the Lions. I love them. That's a team I'm rooting for in the NFC. I love the Niners too. I, I love their style. I love the story. Sam Darnold, it's great, but Sam Darnold's fallen off because why? They started losing games to yep. Jared Goff, and then they lost to the Rams. So, I digress. We could talk about it for days here. 